All right, we're good to go. Well, on behalf of me, myself, and the entire crew, we are extremely thrilled that you're able to join us here at the official Green Mouth Science Division. Cool. What is your name? Brant Richardson. Brant Richardson. So you have an alias as well, don't you? Yes, yes. <laughs> okay. Sometimes you need it. And, ah. and what certain times, what occasions have you needed yeah, an alias? You know, sometimes. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself? Anything sure. that you feel we should know? Well, my big plus, besides having traveled the Earth and uh, been in lots of adventures, is that I'm an engineer. Okay. And uh, my training started in high school where I was really good at, wow. you know, science and that kind of stuff. And then I got into the military and they gave me a whole lot of training and a lot of uh, experience at computers, electronics, and uh, but prior to that, my dad was a master mechanic, okay. so we were always working on cars, taking the engine out. I mean, when I was a high school kid, we were mod remodeling, you know, my car and rebuilding the engine to make it. I had a little '53 Chevy that, or Ford that would take out the latest '55 Chevys. They couldn't believe it that my little Ford could do that, but it did. So anyway, I've got an engineering background, electronics background, plus I'm experienced. I've been around a bit, lived in Germany a few years, visited Paris a lot, and uh, lived in New York for 10 years. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I can bring a lot of uh, experience to, you know, the people, the other people on the team. Mm -hmm. So it sounds like you've been all around the world. Yes. A bunch of different places. Right. Of all those places, why models? Well, you know, uh, I also had like a gambling problem. And, um, you know, that, that kind of waxes and wanes. You're making good money sometimes, and other times, you know, people are chasing you. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'd like to really get away from that, get into a clean environment, working with some good people. And, uh, you know, contributing to, uh, you know, the effort of uh, humanity on Earth to expand and, you know, find new places to live. So uh, the Mars thing is really kind of attractive to me, uh, and I'd like to contribute to that. Mm -hmm. You mentioned you're a gambling man. I pretty much quit now. I haven't been, been doing it for about a year. I uh, still have some debts hanging over from that, and I think the, the money I get for joining a team and uh, blasting off will pay off those debts, so I'm, I'm clean. Well, considering that you will never return to Earth should you be selected, I don't think those debts will be an issue. <laughs> but I, I'd still like to take care of them, though. Just, you know, for my own uh, peace of mind. Oh, awesome. Well, that's very... You have integrity. <laughs> that is I hope very so. good quality you look for here at the official Munal Science Division. Thank you. What would you say are your other strengths that would really enhance the Mars station? Uh, well, <clears throat> I'm a team player, uh, friendly, sociable, so, you know, I don't, uh, and my thin, the skin is pretty thick, so, you know, I don't get easily offended if somebody's, like, having a bad day and maybe pisses me off or something. It doesn't really bother me that much, you know. Uh, so you get pissed off. No, I mean, I mean, say, say somebody's like having a really bad day and they're kind of grumpy at me, right? Th what I mean to say is, it doesn't bother me. See. I would, I would see that uh, they're having a bad day and okay, I'll just, you know, let them have that and uh, I know the next day I'll be better. Would you say that their bad day can affect the goodness of your day? Or do you perhaps... I would be concerned, but, you know, I mean, not everybody has a great day every day. You know, some people do have a bad day. So. so would you say that the goodness of your day is more effective against their bad day versus the badness of their day being effective towards your good day? I think so. I think that them, that them saying that I kind of maintain my, you know, peace of mind, that would help them to you know, kind of like get a grip on their, their scene and, uh, mm -hmm. you know, able to carry on as a team member. Mm -hmm. Why why do you think 
that you are absolutely, without doubt, the perfect person to go to Mars? And for this question, I would like you to direct it to the panel. Okay. Yeah, the, the real reason is, one, skilled engineer, skilled in electronics, skilled in computers, but has traveled around the planet, met a lot of people, really broadened my horizons, so I'd be really good at learning new things even on, on the team and contributing to making the overall event a really nice event. And unfortunately, this is a question that we must ask. It's, sure. it's not of my own choosing. But do you have any criminal history? No. I know you've mentioned being on the run before. No, I meant, you know, like I had debts and needed to, needed to pay them, and maybe I didn't pay them exactly on time. But I have all my people now lined up, and I think it'll be good. And these people... Will you be sad to leave them? Are you prepared for the fact, essentially, that once you depart from Mars, you will never see humanity, any humans on Earth, ever again? Right. But, I mean, we'll be in contact, I'm pretty sure. Because now, you know, they can send signals to the, uh, uh, the devices that are crawling around Mars now and get signals back from them. So we could still communicate with Earth. And I think... As a term, team member, would it be six people on the ship going there? Um, there's humanity right there. And who knows what will happen when we get there. You know, we'll be building and creating stuff, and if we do a good job, I'm sure more people will be coming. So, uh, actually, it looks pretty exciting. I'd like to be a part of that. I think that you would be a very interesting addition to the group indeed. Thank you. You're welcome. Well... Team members, do you have any further questions? No, I think we have everything we needed. Thank you so much for coming in and interviewing with us. Great. You'll be hearing from us, or not, within four to six months. Okay, well, thanks for the opportunity. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs>